Hello all and welcome back to another video of me on my Inspiron 1520 talking about my generational sims that I have been working on since 2008 and this is another family Bella Lillard uh what do you I just gotta figure out that was my oven it is minus 15 degrees out today in this so it's like really cold and even though I had my heat on it was still like I still needed to turn my oven on to heat up my kitchen um okay so I am also gonna do something a little bit different today because I've really introduced myself or said like my reasons behind why I well no I have said my reasons behind why I wanted to do this but more like just talk about myself and who I am and just kind of get to know me and and in the comments I can get to know you guys uh, they're all upstairs so let's just go upstairs and see what everyone's doing um, it is a little on the laggy side, but it's not so bad. This is a house I made myself. Um, okay. Uh, like, what are you doing? I'm just all, like, confused. Okay. All right. They're just jumping on the beds and being weird. You all gotta go to work. Why are you? Okay, she's, he's, okay. Then you're gonna go to school. Okay, so I get I get sidetracked sometimes. We all do this. Okay, so I'm going to show you where we are on the family tree. Okay, so this is where we're at. And I'm just gonna grab, click like a hand so you can see them correctly, like in their birthing order. So I made. I um, posted a video about Walter and his store. That was so laggy yesterday. I would have taken more time. We are here with Bella and Marshall Fredo. Yes, Godfather. I was watching the Godfather at the time. And Sally uh, is where we're at now. I don't... Yeah, none of them have any kids or anything yet. It, this one's still kind of pretty new and like the, it's not far down in the family tree line. Okay, so uh, that's where we are here. Okay, um, and I'll just my name. <laughs> I should have my name too. <laughs> I I get I get all over the place. <laughs> Um, I'm Emily Yoldersma. Yoldersma is how you pronounce that crazy last name of mine. And, uh, I'm 34. I am a chef by trade. I went to culinary school when I was 25. And, yeah, that's, I, you know, that's it. I, you know, I cook for a living. Well, pandemic, but yeah, uh, I had my daughter when I was eight. Oh my god, I said eighteen. When I was nineteen, I had my daughter. I was nineteen years old, uh, and I every time, every opportunity I get to take time off and spend it with her, I do because I. I'm a single mom, and I, in kitchens, you work anywhere from 50 to 70 hours a week. So, taking time off for my daughter is so important. So, when I have the opportunity to stay home and be a mom, oh, I do. Which kind of sucks, but at the same time, it's completely worth it. You know, I... And willing to sacrifice my career and not be where I should be because I choose to 
be around my daughter and raise her and not have her raised by babysitters. Uh, I have said this before, but I have autism. I am on the spectrum. Uh, so sometimes my words and in my brain and my mouth, they have, they don't like to work together. So I can like hear the words in my mouth, <laughs> or in my mouth, in my head. I can feel them at the tip of my tongue, but I can't say them. It's so frustrating. Or even sometimes I will think I am saying a word, but I'm actually not. <laughs> like I'm not saying that word and I will get really frustrated. <laughs> And there's not really anything they all went to work. Which is kind of silly. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that what I'm going to do is talk about my struggles of what it's like for me to be on the spectrum. And what it was like for me to go undiagnosed for so long. Uh, I was, as a child, diagnosed as uh, having a defiant disorder. But that definitely is not the case. Uh, I actually can comply to orders and I can listen and do what I'm told. If I was defiant, if I had a defiant disorder, it would be impossible for me to be a chef <laughs> because you have to do what you're told. <laughs> there is no if, ands, or buts about that one. You have to. So <laughs> I'm gonna get you to clean that up because that's annoying me. I don't like when they have a garbage thing there. I'm just, I just kind of like uh, went back because in the winter time, I, I noticed they have a, like a penguin will come by and I'm just like, hey, maybe there's a penguin. So this is really just me talking about myself, which I don't really like to do. <laughs> but I thought that it might be beneficial to somebody. The other day I made a comment on uh, the Observe channel about how like watching things of the body language has helped me like kind of know what to do or like appropriate response or kind of figure out why somebody may be acting the way they are and uh that's why I want and I said the thing thanks to my, my comments that thank you for doing this and it's helped me a lot and I right now there's 1,500 likes and over 100 comments of people saying they are in the same boat, people who struggle the same things, and reading those comments made me realize that this is what I want to do. I want to talk about what it was like for me and to help somebody. And if I can just help one person, if one person can be like, yes, I'm not alone, this, this lady right here knows exactly what is going on, then that, that makes everything worth it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I will, at the beginning of each video, I will talk about um, the, the sims that I'm at working on or showing you guys and then after that I will just start talking about my life story about how 
I got the diagnosis of having a defiant disorder and then how I came to start to realize when I was older that that is just not the way <laughs> and what I did to advocate for myself and you know even tell you stories about how I had lost my job due to my autistic stuff well actually it wasn't due to my autistic stuff but he didn't like me as soon as he found out I had autism <laughs> he legitly had a had a hate on for me and I knew that because I sued that restaurant and we settled so yeah that will be the story I'm going to now check on Willie and make a video about Willie I'll see how like laggy and slow it takes to oh, it's bad okay well I hope everyone has a great day and if you like this video click like if you want to see more of this content and if you're now interested about hearing my autistic journey please hit the subscribe button i am going to be load uploading every day until i have gone through every single one of my sims and as soon as i uh as soon as i have gone through the sims and shown my progress with the sims i will then uh, just be uploading maybe during the week Monday to Friday but because this computer is so old and sometimes it doesn't really turn on or when I plug it in it won't connect so I want to get all of this recorded as soon as possible so that it will uh, you know I'll have it it's important to me okay well um I hope you guys all have a great day, like I said, and if you want to see this family, just hit subscribe and it will be uploaded tomorrow. Bye!